Welcome to another edition of Fabry Five. I recommend putting on your captions as I can be difficult to understand while we're in the math. Today we're going to be talking about table coins in the data warehouse in Fabric. Let's get started. Table coins in the warehouse and fabric allow for a number of unique opportunities in fabric to clean tables and basically use that for later purposes. I'm calling out five things that I think that cloning gives you the ability to do. Or what are important to understand. First, you need to know that it's a zero copy clone. A zero copy clone means the only metadata is copied. The file is in place and locked in read only mode as usual. This guarantees that whatever your clone has is the data will look like until you change the clone. More about that in a second. One key thing to remember is the clone timing. It is good from seven days in the past to the current point in time. You cannot go further back than seven days. Once you create a clone, they'll be available for one other than that. But you cannot create a new clone before then. This is a good option for testing and development as it allows you to look at the data for real and test for use cases for bugs or rerunning machine learning algorithms or machine learning training. If you have a requirement in compliance or auditing, you can actually retain the data at the point in time needed. I also find it good for stateful reporting when working with account balances and things that are stateful. But change over time that you want to report like a running balance and know what it looks like. This allows for some of our time travel and the ability to look back to the data. One thing I make sure that you have to do in any case is create a schema for your clones because you can clone a group of tables at the same time and use naming conventions so you can identify the clone and potentially when it was made. Keep in mind that it's only supported in Fabric Warehouse today. And also, that you cannot use it across warehouses or workspaces. It's also not supported in the SQL endpoint for lighthouses. There's only the fabric warehouse. One last note. While well, clones don't take a lot of space, you should build a plan in for removal of the clones over time. Mainly to reduce quality since it's mostly metadata. But since you can actually do changes in clone tables without affecting the originals, and vice versa, you gotta be careful to understand what the purpose of a clone is and when it should no longer be retained. 
So I hope that you can use coins effectively. As I noted before, my favorite use case is just things like account balances. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, take a moment to like or share or subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.